Hello, I'm Connor. I'm 27 years old, and uh, I live in Los Angeles, California. I grew up in a Republican family and, you know, pretty much followed the same path as them. I voted Republican from my first uh, election in 2010 uh, till 2014. In 2016, I voted for a candidate that I didn't agree with and didn't care for all that much, but I was not uh, going to lend my name to uh, a Trump vote. I found him before he was made the nominee to be a loquacious um, Bulgarian, you know, a grifter and a, a person who, eat, it, no matter what, was just unfit for this position. And when he was elected, it became very clear how mad this world was going to be with him as president because he was going to bring in all the people that he said he wasn't going to bring in. He was going to add Goldman Sachs people when he said he was going to drain the swamp. My faith in the party, though, died when lawmakers, congressmen, senators, political writers, uh, people who I idealized in some ways and uh, who made a lot of sense to me, uh, now we're uh, supporting him simply out of the reason that it was party duty, it seemed. You know, uh, trying to support his narrative, trying to give him credence to his uh, senseless views of, you know, Muslims, Mexicans, how a wall works, tax cuts, pick a ridiculous thing. So in 2020, I'm not only not voting for Donald Trump, I am not voting for a Republican as my uh, congressman, because I think that the the power needs to be taken away from Republicans right now, because really they need to reform. Because if they stay, then the narrative continues. They use fake news. They use <clears throat> ridiculous assertions. They use lies and whatnot that they've learned through him, how he can get away with so much that they can use it to their advantage because of his selfishness and the fact he's so indifferent to the country. He has managed to divide us more than ever. He doesn't have a side. He has no side. And because of that, no one knows where to go with him. And that is frightening. So it's not just about defeating him. It's about defeating everything that he set up and defeating the people who have enabled that and ran with that and are setting us up for massive failure. We've already seen so much tragedy with him, you know, uh, the huge number of deaths from coronavirus, from the uh, lack of admonishment towards uh, the white nationalists in Charleston through the, the just disgusting things he does on Twitter that are so that are so representative of a really insecure man who should who should not be a leader. We need someone who can lead, at the very least. But more than that, we need a Republican Party that is not at the same level as him. And until. I see a return to that. I see a return to the common sense Republicans who don't just hurl insults. Um, I will be voting Democrat or independent or anything but green.